Hello and welcome everyone. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Adam Cellini. We start tonight with early voting for the August primaries, which opened up today on the Sun Coast, drawing hundreds to the polls, including a high profile candidate. Here's a look at some of the energy on the first day of voters picking their candidates. There are several reasons to vote on the first possible day. Lewis Rosenfields greets him as soon as he steps outside. Just take a deep breath and you get an idea of what red tide tape smells like. And for that reason, that's one of my motivating factors. Many blame the algae problems on the political status quo. And the August primaries are a chance to pick new candidates for House and Senate seats in both Washington and Tallahassee. Not to mention our next governor. Philip Levine hopes Democrats choose him for the latter. Stopping in Sarasota with an environmental metaphor on Saturday. People are excited. They're enthused. And you know why? Because they know they need to get out there and vote. Because they got to get rid of this red tide. And the way they get rid of this red tide is with a blue wave. State Representative Representative candidate Melissa Howard made waves this week when she admitted to lying about a college degree before stepping out of the race. But election offices can't yet remind voters to ignore her name still on the ballot. That hasn't happened yet because we're still waiting for that official notice from the state of Florida. But as soon as that does, those notices will be posted in voting booths and early voting around the county. August is about more than just primaries. Bipartisan races for judge and several school board seats are also open to voters. At a school board candidate forum, Bridget Mendel watched a former governor appointee debate a challenger. Being able to appoint people to our local board is strips us of our local control and it's time for the Manatee County residents and taxpayers to take that back. Oh, everything is uh, advertising and hype, but the reality is when I walk in there, I, I have my say. Voting energy has been high on the Sun Coast. Over a thousand ballots had been cast between Sarasota and Manatee counties by noon today. Not to mention over 55,000 vote by mail ballots already returned between the two counties. And if you have any questions about where you can go to cast your vote, we have a list of early voting locations up on our website, mysuncoast.com.